Hello everyone. Today I will explain you about volume. Do you know what is volume? Amount of space occupied by a given object. Just a definition. But what does it mean? An object. Everybody has this cube. I know all the children love to play with this cube. Okay. So cube is an example of solid object. Similarly, your pencil box. All of you have pencil box. This is example of cuboid. Okay. You will see that when I keep this cube here, this is occupying this much space of this reason. Okay. So, this cube has length, breadth as well as height. This is three dimensional object. This is three dimensional object. Length, breadth and height. So, objects which have length, breadth and height have volume also. We have learnt about area that was plane surface. That was plane surface. See here I have explained about area. That area we find by measuring side into side for square and for rectangle length into breadth. Because in plane surface figure in any plane figure like I have this plane paper okay this this is occupying some area and it has only length and breadth in any plane figure this is plane figure no height two dimensional figure length and breadth so it is occupying area but not volume why because it is not three dimensional it should have height also then it will occupy some space on the top also and it will have volume. For example, this cuboid. Okay, it has length, bread. It is occupying area. The surface area. This is the area. The surface is area. But it has height. So, from the bottom also it is occupying some space. So, this is called volume. When we measure how much space it is occupying, this is volume. And only if we want how much surface it is occupying, then we find like in area, we were imagining how many squares are there. How many squares are there? By this way, you have found area. But in volume, you will try to find, you will have to find that how many cubes, means that should have height also. The how many cubes are possible in this space. So cube, two cube, three cube, three, three, six, three, nine. 9 cubes are there and then just to give a little turn this three more th 9 more cubes are here and again 9 more cubes are here ok see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 this side 9 this side and in the middle also 9 cubes are there so total how many cubes are there of 1 centimeter so it is 9, 9, 18 and plus 9, 27. So volume of this cube is 27 cubic centimeter. Means it has 27 cubes of 1 centimeter side. See many colors here I have kept so that you will be able to understand that each cube has length, breadth and height 1 centimeter and like that total 27 cubes are there in this. So this way we find volume. So we will say that volume of the cube is 27 cubic centimeter. Volume of the cube is 27 cubic centimeter. See I have made this cube for you. 3 centimeter length, 3 centimeter breadth and 3 centimeter height. And how many cubes were there? Just we have counted okay, total 9 on the top. Then again 9 in the middle and 9 at the bottom. So this thing, whenever a cube will be there, we can use a formula also. Volume of cube is equal to side into side into side. Because all the sides are same here. We can write volume of the cube is equal to side multiplied by side multiplied by side and just 
now we have found the volume of the cube that is 27 cubic centimeter. Now in this figure we will try to find volume of this cube using this formula. Volume of cube is equal to side into side into side. So length, breadth and height is same. That is why it is side into side into side. So we will write 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3. That is 3, 3, 9 and 9, 3, 27. So 27 and always remember unit is cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. We measure volume of any object using cubic unit. If the measurements are in meter, we will write cubic meter. If it is in centimeter, we will write cubic centimeter. In short, we write CU, but actually it is cubic unit. And unit can be anything, centimeter, meter, kilometer, whatever. So, by knowing the formula of Q, we can find volume of any object which has a shape of a Q. Next, come to the figure of cuboid. This I have made roughly. Okay. Here you will find so many cubes are there of length 1 centimeter or side 1 centimeter. So, just see how many cubes are there in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 cube here. At the back same 7. So 14 cube. On the top how many cubes are there? 14. In the middle also 14. And at the bottom also it is 14. So 14 plus 14 plus 14 cubes total are there. You try to count you will be able to count the total. 14 plus 14 plus 14. 3 rows of 14 cubes are there. So that is equal to 42 and unit is cubic centimeter. Volume is cubic centimeter. But every time counting cube is difficult. So made by many practices and all we have found that if we use formula volume of cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height we will get the same answer we will get the same answer length into breadth into height so what is the length 7 into breadth 2 centimeter and height is 3 centimeter length breadth height so it is 3, seven, uh, three centimeter. Now you multiply 7, 2, 14, 14, 3, 42. And unit is cubic centimeter. See the same answer we have got. So by counting the cube, by understanding the concept of cube, we have come to the conclusion that volume of a cube is side into side into side and volume of a cuboid is length into breadth into height. Hope this is clear to you all. So using these formulas, we will find volume of different shapes in the next video. Thank you.